morning. It is a good morning, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I just got a very disturbing business call. Here, let me start over again. Is that better? Much better. For a minute, I thought maybe you regretted what happened last night. Last night was wonderful. I hope you're not sorry about it. No. I did make this one little promise to myself a long time ago, though. Never to speak with another woman's husband. Well, it's not that way with me. I mean, my marriage with Laura was over a long time before you entered the picture. And... You had nothing to do with that. Okay. Why don't you sit down before everything gets cold? It looks... delicious. So, what exactly is... the, uh, the situation with Laura? I mean, in regards to the divorce. Well, as you know, she's been under psychiatric observation, and, uh... Uh, in a conversation I had yesterday, I found out that she is being transferred from the prison hospital to, uh, well, security facilities until they can set a time for her trial. But as to the divorce, now that I'm taking care of. I'm flying to Mexico and... Mexico? Why are you going to Mexico? Because in Mexico, they don't ask questions and you can get it done in a day. Is it legal here? Absolutely. But I am going to go through the, uh, proper channels. But, Laura, have you told her what you're doing? Well, she knows I'm uh, filing for a divorce. I served her with papers, and um, I think she'll be surprised that it happened so quickly. She doesn't know I'm going to Mexico. Don't you think you should notify her? I'm not consulting with Laura these days. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Ethan, you don't know that. With her emotional look, look, state... Look, she wouldn't have tried to kill me if she didn't want out of this marriage. I mean that desperately, so if I expedite matters, I think she'll enjoy that. I hope you're right. You see, pretty soon you won't have to feel any guilt at all being with me. I don't feel guilty. I feel extremely happy. Good. And I intend to keep it that way. I'm the only one you're moving? We'll make a stop and pick up a couple of more on the way. You'll have lots of company, honey. Don't worry. My guess is you stole the car. You went to kill your husband, but Sasha got it instead. As well. No! You know, I told you I was going to keep my eye on you, and God forgive me for doing such a lousy job of it. I guess I didn't want to believe that you were capable of murder. I need to see Ethan. I want him down here now. I did not try to kill him. It was Annie! Annie? Speaking of whom? The handwriting in Annie's diary is not Annie's, is it? It's yours. You were the nurse in the car that night. No. And Sasha was the nurse who was supposedly sleeping next to you, except she was dead because you had killed it, her. It was dark. It was raining. He couldn't be sure. Oh, Laura, shut up. You have the right to remain silent, to take advantage of it. 